So in this video, I wanna look at some basic branding for your Ecamm videos. And you'll hear me talking about different overlays and things, and, and I talk specifically in future videos about how to use text overlays and image overlays and things. But with the title of how to brand, just think, let's just show you some real basics to uh, help you to stand out. Now. I've prepared in advance a couple of assets. I've got a logo here for my Ecamm Academy and my Pro Video Academy. And I think at its simplest, if I just drop that in here, you'll see what I mean. I mentioned before in Ecamm here that we can actually go up to our window tab at the top, hide main window controls, or it's that command and tilde, tilde shortcut that you can see it's showing me there. If I click on here, just look what happens. Command tilde and it's gone. So I'm now looking at this screen without all the overlays and things. I think that's quite helpful and useful when we're just trying to brand it up. And all I do is I've got a logo sitting in here. Let's go with the Ecamm Academy one. And I literally drag it onto the screen and it's brought it in. Now this has already been brought in with a transparent background. If you've got a logo that's got a white background or a colored background behind it, then simply use Canva or a tool like that and you can pull it into it, tell it to remove the background, save it out as a transparent background PNG file, and then you can bring it in here and uh, it becomes really nice to work with. So as I come over this, notice that it's put the outline on there, even though all this is transparent, that's still the border of this image. And if I grab in the corner, I can just shrink that. I know I've got the, <laughs> the, the benefit of having a nice, clean, dark background here that makes it really nice for putting a logo on. But I can just pop that up there. And if I want, I can push it off up into the corner. So there it is. When I move my cursor off the window, it gets rid of that background. Now, straight away, if I were to show up on a Zoom meeting or I'm sitting there in a gallery on Zoom with other people in a meeting and I show up with branding like this on the top of my screen, it suddenly starts people going, oh, that's a bit cool. How did you do that? So these are the sort of benefits of why we want to play here in Ecamm and then bring these things over and use them into Zoom and places like that. Okay, so that's a logo that's brought in. If you want to add your name on here, firstly, to get the uh, palette up at the side, we need to just bring these overlays on. And uh, very quickly, I'm gonna show you how to do a text overlay. We've got a completely separate video talking about this, so I'm not gonna spend long at all. But down here, we hit T for text. And let me just write my name on here. And I can choose whether or not I want to have a background on. If I do want a background, I can decide whether I want it squared on the edges or not. In fact, this one by the looks of it is a semi-transparent. It's 50% uh, between black and white. So it's just a, a, a gray there, if you like. I'm gonna try this because I've got this background. I'm gonna try actually turning the background off. I can turn shadows on and off as well if I want. So at its simplest, I can just hit add on there and it's just given me a name that I can drop to the bottom of the screen. Again, let's just take that off for a minute. So that's where it's going to sit on there. And if I hit the pencil, I can even say to fly in from any direction. So maybe I want that to fly in from the bottom. And then when I click on here, and I'm talking and maybe I just start up my live, I pop on here and my name appears from below. If we feel it wants a bit of color to it, we could add a background back in. And uh, let's, I could stick with this orange that we've got here on brand. I uh, wouldn't really choose this, but um, I can round off, see what I'm doing? I'm rounding off the top two edges and leaving the bottom. And so I quite like that you could sit this down here and then when we tell this to pop in or out it kind of functions like a tab down here and we can obviously reposition that and put it where you want make it slide in from different sides tell it to fly in from the left make sure i save it and then i could do it this way around so now when i make this appear it just pops in from the side like that so quite simple very basic really in terms of just bringing in some branding like this. If you want to take the name up a notch, you can actually create one in another tool uh, like Keynote. We've got one here that Owen actually did for me and it just pops in like this 
and uh, I think that's a really nice touch. So I could pop this down here, and when I hit play on it, my name comes in like this. And what I can do is to set it so come the end of it to hide it and stay hidden. Turn it off, bring it on. My name appears on here and the automation is all happening in the, the keynote file itself. In the Ecamm Academy, we show you how to make one of these. Owen goes off and actually builds one out in Keynote. If you're interested in the Ecamm Academy and you haven't heard about it already, uh, do check that out in the description. Fantastic training. And uh, that would be one of the things that you can see how to build there. So that's just some fairly basic uh, branding. Do check out the other videos that we've got all about overlays and you'll see how we bring in the images, how we do the text, how you can really do some clever things with this branding. I do encourage you though, don't go silly and over the top with this. It wants to be on brand for you, for your audience. What do they expect to see from you? You don't want a whole load of whizzy transitions and things going on if that's really not a fit for you and your style. So some nice subtle branding like this, I think is all you need really. So we'll show you how to do that. Do check out the playlist. If you haven't already, we've got a stack of videos in there showing you all about how to do these overlays. I'll see you in one of those.